If you have a problem, I'm here to help you solve it. That's the purpose of our new series called Ask Anthony. And right now, I'm helping a disabled veteran who purchased solar panels from a local company. But in her opinion, they're putting out more shade than sun. Um, some guys were walking through the neighborhood and um, asked me if I'd be interested in getting solar panels. And I said, sure. Like most of us, Monique Bates is trying to save a few extra bucks. In January, she purchased these solar panels to lower the cost of her electric bill. How much did those panels cost you? 50000 Money she considered an investment, but from the beginning, she had problems. So the panels were installed in January, but were they working? No, they were not working. And when did they finally start working? When in they... August. So they didn't get turned on until August? Correct. According to this work order, Monique purchased the solar panels from a company called USA Energy Savers, and she was given this 30-year warranty. So you contacted the warranty company, and what did you find out? That they are not in business with them. They say they didn't, they're not doing business with them. They stopped doing business with them, and they just shouldn't be out here selling policies. The warranty is through a company called Solar Insure. The only company I could find with that name is based in California. I ended up speaking with a customer service rep online named Charlie, who told me he remembered helping Monique when she contacted them to ask questions about the warranty she received from USA Energy Savers. The rep said in his message to me, at the very top of it, you can see the name as R Solar Insure and not Solar Insure. Furthermore, that is not our company logo. According to Monique's paperwork, the solar panel company acknowledged there was an issue with the warranty and they were going to send her a copy of the new one. But she says she never received it. You're a disabled veteran. Correct. And you're on a fixed income? Correct. So I can't just come out of my pocket for some solar panels um, if something happened to them. So that's why that warranty is important. After doing some research, I discovered USA Energy Savers has an F rating with the Better Business Bureau. According to state business documents, the owner, Chris Redman, filed paperwork in August to change the name. It's now called Our Solar Group with addresses in Jacksonville and South Carolina. I tried to call a cell phone number I was given for Redman, but no one answered. Hello, this message is for Chris Redman. So I called the number listed for Our Solar Group. Hi, my name is Anthony Austin with First Coast News. Is An employee answered the phone and told me someone would call me back. No one ever did. So I looked up the company's address and paid them a visit in person. We spoke with a woman who said she worked for our solar group. Is Chris Redman the owner here? Yes. Can I speak to him? He's in a meeting right now. Okay. Well, because I'm just trying to get some answers. I have several customers with complaints, and they say no one is calling them back. No one's called me back. I've called Chris. I've called here. I said I was going to. I have a heart monitor on right now. And I'll pull my shirt off if you want to see it. You're causing me some heart issues. If you don't want, if you want me to answer your questions, he needs to shut that red light off. This employee told us they would answer our questions if we scheduled an appointment. I called two phone numbers provided by that employee. No one has called me back. As for Monique. Now I'm just mad. She just wants what she paid for. Those panels were $50,000. That's a huge investment. And, and I need to have a valid warranty for them. I need to have what the company promised me. That's all I want. That's all she wants. And I've been trying to contact this company since October 7th. That's when I made the first phone call. And just three hours before this story aired, I called the owner. It went straight to voicemail twice. I called two numbers given to me by that employee you saw in the story. Both are now disconnected. So Chris Rettman with our solar group, if you're watching this story, I would like to hear from you and get this issue resolved. I have contacted the state attorney general's office and some information about the from the Better Business Bureau before you purchase solar panels. Ask for referrals and research local installers. Read customer reviews and check out the company's business rating with the BBB. Also get quotes from multiple installers, at least three, and inquire about warranties. A reputable company will offer you an equipment warranty usually lasting about 10 to 12 years and a performance warranty that should last up to 25 years. And remember, if you have a problem you just can't get resolved, you can always email Email me at askanthony at firstcoastnews.com. Now.